We dubbed this fire the Emerald Fire. We got the call. Our emergency command center, our dispatch center, received the call at 4.10 this morning about a small fire in the area behind Emerald Bay. We sent a dispatch to 1425 Emerald Bay Drive. Upon arrival, the crews did find an active fire under significant winds. Uh, not a surprise. Uh, everybody's been informed that we've had several Santa Ana wind events, the high pressures upon us, and we were expecting and are experiencing record temperatures, dry weather, and low humidities. At this time, the fire has been mapped at 145 acres. A couple hours ago, we reported 7 to 10 acres. Since then, we've had improved mapping, so I want to share with everybody the fire has not all of a sudden exploded and, and grown and is spreading widely. It is not. It's just improved mapping. It's at 145 acres, approximately 5% contained. You see there's not much smoke behind me. Part of that is because we are shielded by the hills. The fire spread is to the north, but the fire is not spreading rapidly at this time. On scene, we've got in excess of 75 engines. Eight strike teams make up some of those 75 engines. We've got four CAL FIRE air tankers at scene. They're actively dropping fire retardant now. We've got five hand crews on scene two bulldozers and five helicopters. One Orange County helicopter, two LA County Fire Department helicopters, and two CAL FIRE helicopters that are en route and, and likely here at this time. As far as the situation, we are working to keep the fire west of Boat Road, east of Emerald Canyon. The fire is hung up a bit below Emerald Canyon at this time. I'm happy to report there are no structures lost, none damaged, no reports of firefighter injury or civilian injury at this time. Uh, evacuations remain in place. Chief Garcia will be speaking to the evacuation, road closures, shelter areas, those sorts of things in a moment. I will say before he steps up, there will be questions about how long, when will residents be let in. We don't have that, it, it's premature for that. We've got a lot of resources you know, on this fire. We've got a lot in staging. So even if the area cools down, and we would be able to let you in, we've got a lot of hose out, we've got a lot of firefighters, so residents will not be allowed in until it's safe, not only for them, but for our firefighters. Um, so I wanted to kind of throw that out there before we got to, before it came up. As you are aware, we've had back evacuations. Currently, the communities of Emerald Bay and Irvine Cove are under mandatory evacuation and everybody fortunately has left. Uh, North Laguna Beach is under advisory and we're asking our community to stay vigilant, be prepared to leave when asked to do so. Um, when you look around here, you couldn't even tell there's a fire going on and we're very close. There's a, an active fire going on. It's going the other way, you don't see it. So it's easy for everybody to think, hey, it's okay, we need to get back into our house. It should be okay, we're telling you it's not. This is subject to wind and wind changes and uh, we are monitoring that very close. This is a, a large team effort and we're, we're uh, taking safety very serious. Road closures. Coast Highway is closed. Please stay off Coast Highway. It's closed northbound from Broadway and southbound from Newport Coast. And we're asking everybody to stay away from the area. We have many fire resources currently on scene and they are moving back and forth. They're utilizing the highways. We have many that are coming in um, and changing crews and such. So we need those areas open and we don't need the congestion of people. For those that have evacuated, for those that need help, we have two evacuation centers. We have one here in Laguna Beach, our Suzy Q Community Center, right, right down the street here on Forest Avenue. And we also have the community room at Los Olivos in Irvine. It doesn't matter what city, what part you're from. If you need the help, please go there. You can be cared for and taken care of.